There are several factors that determine whether a baseball card is rare or valuable. Understanding these factors is key to being able to properly identify rare cards in a collection. Some of the most important things to look at include Year of issue Baseball cards produced in the early years of the hobby, from the late 1800s up to the 1950s, tend to be much rarer than modern cards due to lower print runs. The sport was less popular back then so fewer cards were produced. Cards from the early 1900s through the 1930s in particular can be extremely rare and fetch high prices. Player prominence Cards featuring legendary players who had Hall of Fame careers will often be rarer than those of more obscure players. Look for cards depicting Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron, and other all-time greats. The greater the player's accomplishments and popularity, the better chance their rocky or early career cards will have significant value. Statistics on back Examine the back of the card for statistics and details on the player's career up to that point. Very early cards may be blank backed or have only basic info. Truly rare finds would have the stats from only that player's rookie season or a prior year printed on them. Pictures Inspect the photo on the front of the card. Enlarged heads, group shots, or other atypical photos can enhance a card's collectability in many cases. Make sure to compare photos to typical designs released that same year. Errors slash variations Sometimes mistakes were made during production that resulted in minor differences in wording, colors, logos or statistical errors between otherwise identical cards. These variations command premium prices. Closely examine small details with the loop. Serialization slash numbering, the lack thereof can be a sign of age. Early 20th century tobacco era cards were usually unnumbered. Numbered editions from later decades may have shorter print runs. Autographs slash memorabilia, signed cards or those containing game-worn materials are substantially rarer than standard base cards. However, authenticate carefully as forgeries exist. Population reports, tools like the Beckett Population Report lists production numbers and surviving populations. The lower the population number, the better the odds a card is a key date or one of a kind find in top grades. Grading, professionally graded cards and high mint or gem grades are always rarer, as it's harder for old fragile cards to survive in top condition. Anything graded above a 9 is a great indicator of conditionally scarce card. It takes diligent examination of these factors to pick out truly key rare finds hidden away in collections that could hold significant value. Knowing what to look for is the first step in proper identification. Rarity is also tied to demand, so make sure to research which players and specific cards capture serious collector interest to home in on potential high dollar pieces. With experience and learning, developing an eye for what makes certain cards scarce takes time, but studying the features highlighted here provides a detailed framework. Identifying rare cards requires patience and attention to detail. Carefully evaluating year, player, production practices, grading and more provides a wealth of clues about a card's potential scarcity and collectability. Taking the time for close inspections with aids like lopes can reveal overlooked errors, variations and attributes that set apart common cards from real condition census level keys. Building experience studying differences and researching historical context gives any collector a powerful toolkit for spotting hidden gems. Rarity adds excitement to the hunt, and proper identification is the first step towards finding it.